Greetings guys, girls, non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. Recently a TikTok went viral on Twitter, as they do, um, of a man doing some wedding vows that were just incredibly not okay and not wedding vows and it made me flash back to the same thing happening earlier this year um, to a TikTok of some wedding vows that I'm sure you've all seen, uh, where a man just had some ridiculously disgusting and not okay wedding vows. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about this. <laughs> I'm gonna make a video about grooms just disrespecting their brides, really. So it comes to wedding vows, wedding cake toppers, um, and just grooms sucking, really is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that is what we're going to do today. Unfortunately, there is a decent amount of content, which is quite sad. But before we get into it, I would like to say a massive thank you to today's patron of the day, Deet Beetle. I appreciate you so much and I hope that you enjoy this video. If anyone else would like to be on Patreon, you go to patreon.com slash savvycat or click the top link in the description. That's at as little as one pound a month and I appreciate it greatly. All right, so I thought we would start this video where the idea struck me with the TikTok that sent me down this horrible rabbit hole. I promise to smack ass every chance I get. <clears throat> That's all I got. Is that it? Yeah. Come on, Cody. Are you sure? I didn't write nothing down. That's what you're going out with? That's what I'm going right, with. Cool. We've made it this long. I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine standing there looking at the supposed love of my life and I meant to say how much I love them and how much I like vow to continue to love them and say why I love them and what I promise to do with and for them, etc. And just say I promise to smack that ass every time, every chance I get. She should run, really. She should turn the other way and never look back. That should be the nail in the coffin. But they've been together for a long time. They have kids. So obviously that's not gonna happen, but it absolutely should. And like, you might be thinking, what were her vows? Were her vows also just like short and silly? No, of course not. Of course they weren't. And she did her vows first. They have also posted a video of her vows and what happened sort of after this. Uh, it has copyrighted music, so I'll have to summarize for you. But basically her vows are long and they are lovely. Say I wouldn't be more proud in the man, dad, and partner you are today. I mean it and I have fallen in love with you over and over again. Talking about how he always loves her no matter what, how she will love him no matter what, how not being with him is like trying to do a crossword where there's no right answers. I love the Taylor Swift bit there. And then his response is just, I promise to smack that ass every chance I get. And then when the priest, the person marrying them is like, please say something else, anything else. He says, I promise to frustrate you all the time. I promise to frustrate you all the time, good. <laughs> I promise I'm not gonna listen to you. I promise to frustrate you and I promise to never listen to you. And that's, those were his vows. I promise to slap that ass every chance I get. I promise to frustrate you and I promise to never listen to you. Girl, <laughs> run, run the other way. Obviously she's known his character for a long time. They've been together long enough to have a kid. You know, they've been together a while. They're getting married late into their relationship. So she obviously knows who this is. And that's just so sad to me. Like how low the bar is. Like this, the bar is on the freaking floor. For you to accept someone saying that to you as their vow of love, and you're just like, yeah, that's fine. I love this man. You deserve so much better. It is so devastating what women will settle for. It is so devastating what they think is okay and acceptable and how little they think they deserve to be respected. The way that it's just normalized for men to just like objectify their partners and just treat them badly. And, but sometimes they're kind and sometimes they'll do things that are helpful. So therefore they're perfect. It's so sad. The bar is so low and she, and so many other women deserve so much better and their kids deserve a better father. This obviously, 
reminded everyone of the monstrosity, the monstrosity of the wedding vows that happened earlier this year with the pink haired girl. You know exactly what I'm talking about, but I will play them again here for your viewing pleasure in case you somehow managed to miss them. Only two things are required to keep me happy, keep my belly full and my balls empty. Oh my <laughs> well, you're amazing at half of it. We really need to get you some cooking lessons. <laughs> Even when my belly isn't full, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. Y'all make life worth living, giving every breath of every day a purpose. Life gets even better when the kids fall asleep and you tell me to come to the bedroom. Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. You will forever have my heart, and that's a promise till death do we part. P.S. Since you're so good at making decisions like Mary and me, you can choose whether tonight's going to end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> I'm speechless. Being that I am his mom, I will deal with him later. He is grounded. This is unbelievable to have as wedding vows. They are not vows. It is just objectifying and sexualizing your partner in front of all of your family and your two young daughters, which is so like beyond fucked up. And like, she was laughing at this and she came out and said like, I know who I was marrying. I love his sense of humor, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, she has obviously convinced herself that this is acceptable, that this is what she deserves, that this is funny. There's obviously a lot of internalized misogyny going on there in order for you to think it is funny for your partner to sexualize and objectify you in front of all of your family and friends. That's a, that's, that's upsetting. <laughs> like you deserve so much more than that. And your children deserve so much more than that too. You know what I mean? Like their kids, their young impressionable kids learn what love looks like from this relationship, right? And I believe they are two daughters and they are watching their father objectify and sexualize their mother when he is meant to be declaring how much he loves her and just having it enforced that that is normal and that is okay and that is what the person you love should do you know it is normalizing the objectification from someone you love it's normalizing that sort of embarrassment too you know what i mean like imagine starting your wedding vows with you're screwed like what the fuck bro it's not it's not it's not a joke it's not vows. I showed this to my mom before I filmed because I was like, this is what I'm making a video about. And she sat there and just started getting like angrier and angrier and angrier. She thought about the situation. She was like, it's really sad that this woman thinks that this is acceptable to, oh my God, their kids were there. To, oh my God, they're reinforcing this in front of their family and telling this man that it's okay. It was very funny to sit there and watch her get more and more mad about it. But like, so true, right? These aren't, these, these aren't vows. These are meant to be promises of love an expression of adoration and it's everything that she can do for him you know there was no mention of anything that he would do for her even in his extended vows which i didn't include because they were long it's very much like you do all of this for me i love that you do this to me i love that you do this for me and not anything that he does for her with no intention of him doing anything for her it's just entirely like i love you because you do things for me. You keep my belly full and my balls empty. <laughs> Vile way to start your vows. Like, absolutely horrific. And again, her vows were lovely. They were sweet. They talked about their love story, about how much she loves him and how much they do together and how much they've accomplished together, how much she loves their kids. And he responds with just, I love sex. But specifically, I love doing it to you. Not together, to you. I obviously don't know much about their relationship, but I think you can tell enough based off of these vows. And it's just so upsetting. I couldn't find very many more bad wedding vows because when you search it up, it's just flooded by these two. It's like there's hundreds of these being re-uploaded and made stitches about, so it was really difficult to find. I did, however, come across this like trend of these men being just so disrespectful at the altar. Um, like this. Who has prepared his own vows today? So let's hear him. I'm a little nervous, though. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<laughs> he was asked to read his vows and he's like i'm just a bit nervous let me pull it out i'll read my vows and he pulls a piece of paper out of his jacket and he unfolds it facing towards the audience and on the back it reads help me and his bride at first looks to the audience like oh it's so lovely he wrote it down he's feeling nervous and then she sees what it says and she looks so gutted and she like whacks him with his fl her flowers and he says it's just a joke and like this isn't the only instance of this uh there are so many examples of this most commonly men have like help me written on their phone and they're like holding it behind their back while they're doing their vows and like stuff like that like there's so many of these and it's so upsetting because it's like it's not funny like even a little bit it's not even remotely funny why are you getting married if you think that it's the worst thing ever like it's a joke I want to marry you then why are you why are you joking about that on your wedding of all times like at the altar you're like hee hee get me out of this trap marriage is a trap hee 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 just don't just don't don't do that it's not funny ever but it's especially unfunny when you are at the altar especially immediately after your partner has just told you how much she loves you and your response is like teehee get me out of here just kidding love you lots i'm gonna slap your ass every chance i get like the bar is so 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 low and these men just suck so much and i so hope she stopped the wedding she probably didn't she probably went through with it and was like, it's fine, it's just a sense of humor and was, has just been upset about it ever since. But I so wish these women would just stop and walk away as soon as they do it because like, it's just so not okay. And I know there are so many stories of like brides who are like, usually my husband has a bit of a sense of humor, he plays pranks, but I specifically told him not to on our wedding day. And then if they do, they're like, okay, well, you can't respect a boundary that I set, which was no pranks on the wedding. So that's the end of the relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's just expected you, you don't do it. You shouldn't have to be asked to not ask for help at the altar while you were marrying the person you have said you love and want to commit your life to. Like, that's so fucked up. And the fact everyone's laughing too, like, it's not funny. If I witnessed that at a wedding, I would be horrified like horrified the person would be like if anyone is against this wedding stand up or forever hold your peace and this could be like someone i i'm like a plus one at this wedding i'm standing up i'm like i object <laughs> do not marry this man you deserve better you can come stay with me and i'll i'll help you until you get on your feet like they could be a stranger you know i don't care i'm stopping that wedding because no i'm not letting you i'm not letting you marry that man you deserve better i'm sorry it's humiliation, right? You shouldn't want to humiliate the person that you love. You shouldn't need to have that power over them. You're meant to be equals and you decided to steal all the spotlight and make fun of her and your relationship. It's like what we're about to move into with the cake smashing. So occasionally you have the ones where they kind of just like smush it a little bit onto their face and it's like, hee hee, I got you back. I put it on your face and it's like, kind of cute kind of fine and then they kiss afterwards i still think it's not a great tradition it can pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your makeup and having that ruined would like actually break my heart I hate being sticky you'd have to go wash your face and then you get rid of half your makeup oh sounds like a nightmare if anyone did that to me divorce and they would know that before going into it i would say to them hey please don't smash cake in my face and then if they did goodbye i don't know why i married you i'm annulling it in the morning <laughs> because they violated a boundary they crossed a line and there are stories of that happening to a woman saying to her partner like if you smash that cake in my face i'm leaving and then he did and she did and he's like it was just a joke it's like well she warned you good for her for sticking to it though anyway and then there are times where the bride will like lightly put it on their face and like laugh and the grooms retaliate like this <laughs> Grabbing a fistful of cake and shoving it so hard into their face that she gets pushed onto the ground. Or another one where he literally picks up the cake and throws it at her face. Oh 
that's like actually assault. I would class that as assault. Throwing a whole cake at someone's face. Your bride, nonetheless? Like, why? It's just to assert this, like, power over them. It's humiliation. It's ruining something that you know is so important to them. And it's always having to be stronger and bigger and in control. And being like, how dare you do something cute and small to me? I'm gonna fucking hurt you because of it. Like, that looked like it fucking hurt. It's not funny to assault your bride. It's just not funny. Even... Even a little bit. There's no humor in that at all. And I so hope people know that. I so hope that, like, when these grooms expose themselves in ways like this, like having horrible vows or um, saying, help me at the altar or in their, like, speech being like, (laughs) marriage is a trap, and smashing the cake like that. Like, I really hope that that wakes up so many more women than it does. And I hope that people start seeing those as the red flags that they are. I can't imagine how devastating it must be to have your partner disrespect you so much on a day that's meant to be celebrating your love and relationship. Like, that would shatter my heart. And it sucks so bad that it's, like, a relatively normalized thing and something that's laughed at and found as funny when it's just devastating, really. And, like, really sets up the relationship for what it is, which is a power imbalance and a woman feeling like she could be humiliated at any point by her partner. And it's just shit, you know? And on top of all of that, we have the ones that women are in on, but it's really sad that they're in on them. And that is with wedding cake toppers such as these there is a man sitting on the edge of like the train of her dress um playing Fortnite with like monster cans and like the remote and everything around him in his tuxedo and the bride dragging him away this goes on the top of a wedding cake yeah and then there's ones that are like a bride being a ball and chain so holding flowers that are chained to his feet and he has duct tape over his mouth that says Yes. And then there's one that is a bride grabbing the groom and pulling him onto the cake. But the cake is split in half. One half is a chocolate cake. One half is like the traditional like nice white wedding cake. And she's pulling him off the chocolate cake and onto the wedding cake. And then there is one similar where it is a man with a bunch of like fishing stuff all around him. And he's holding a fishing rod and a net. And there's a sign that says, and it says hooked, no fishing. And the bride grabbing him and pulling him to the wedding. These go on top of the cake for everyone. This is meant to be like a communal big laugh of like, haha, I forced my husband to marry me. Haha, he'd rather be fishing. He would rather be playing Fortnite. I forced him to be here. I forced him into this marriage. Like, that's so sad. I don't understand the humor in that at all. I don't get it at all. You should love your partner and you should never joke about hating your partner. I don't understand that joke there's like the silly little like you know they beat you in a game or they do something annoying you're like i hate you and it's like obviously that's a joke but when you're genuinely being like marriage is a trap i would rather be fishing i'd rather be anywhere else the old ball and chain won't let me do this i hate my wife it's not funny especially not at a wedding this day is meant to be about your love and how much you love each other and you're bringing up the fact that you find it funny that you hate each other that you're being held there against your will I will never, ever understand that. That makes no sense at all. And these women need to raise the bar. Because they're also, again, as I said for the first one, setting this example for their kids, which they most usually don't have. But in the future, they are setting up this whole idea that, you know, marriage isn't equal. That you should accept a man disrespecting you and hating you. If you have a daughter and if you have a son, you're, like, teaching them that it's okay to disrespect your wife and it's okay to ignore her and treat her badly, you know? And all these things are, like, continuing the cycle of just misogyny and disrespect. And, like, I think when you think about relationships and you think about kids, you have to think outside of yourself. Like, if you're going to have kids, you need to think about the relationship bigger If you want to have children, this is the thing. 
And I know this isn't about kids, but I've been thinking about it, right? If you want to have kids and you're getting married, you need to have that conversation before you get married. Because so many times people are like pregnant with their like husband's baby and they're like, my husband isn't doing what I thought he would. He's not very good at being a dad. He doesn't do what I expected him to. It's like, you need to have this conversation before you get married. It is so important to know who you are marrying and all the parts of them and all of their morals and everything. And if they are treating you like this on their wedding day and they are talking about how they don't actually want to be around you and marriage is a joke and like you're going to tie them down and restrict their freedom, they are most likely not going to be a great father, are they? They're most likely not going to be a great dad. And so you need to take that into consideration because the relationship is bigger than you. I don't think you should be accepting yourself being treated like shit. I don't think you should at all, but you like, but that's your own decision, I guess. Um, your kids don't get a choice on who their parents are. You choose who your kids' parents are. That's your choice. So be more careful and choose people who respect you and actually love you and don't just turn your love into a joke. I'm like personally someone who's like not a fan of marriage but I love the idea of a wedding. Like I love the idea of getting dressed up and just gathering all the people that you love and then just having a day dedicated to celebrating your love with this person. Like a day of telling someone how much you love them and then telling you how much they love you and like just having a party to celebrate your love in like fucking beautiful dresses. Like that genuinely sounds like the best day ever. Like a wedding sounds fucking like the best thing just because it's full of love and so many people so many of these people just make it not into being about love and then what's the point you know anyway um i'm gonna leave this here my mom actually gave me the idea to do one of these but like about stag nights um and hindus and things like that and seeing how people ruin their marriages before they even start so i might do that next time because that sounds like an absolute nightmare so stay tuned for that. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see that as well as many, many other videos. I'm here a couple times a week and I would love to see you more. A massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons whose names are up on the screen right now. I appreciate you greatly. And a huge, huge thank you to my Kiwi Cat patrons. Harry, Bobby, Josh, Mandy, Sparrow, Ikazel, Jessica, Eldo, Danielle, Raven, Elias, Boston, Chris, Amelia, and Samuel. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If anyone else would like to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com com slash savvy cat click the top link in the description for as little as one pound a month you get my videos a day early and then for three pounds and up you get things such as outtakes bonus mini podcasts live streams vlogs music stuff and more don't forget to follow me on instagram the queer kiwi and twitter that queer kiwi i hope that you enjoy the rest of your day stay safe keep fighting i love you Mwah. when you close your eyes you